Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my project pan update. I have used up some items, so I'm going to be showing you what I've used up and what I'm going to be adding in to take the place of the products that I've used up. And also, I have a product that I'm going to be taking out of the project pan. And I'll explain that. Oh, excuse me while I my nose. I'll explain that as once I get to it. I will put a card up to indicate the um, original Project Pan video that I put up, which was in January. It's when I started this. I pulled out 17 items out of my collection to work on and um, to use up this year. And I have made quite a bit of progress because I've already had one other update where I had products that I used up and then added products so I'll also put a card up for that video so anyway let's start with what I have used and we'll start with this here which is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, treatment concealer I did use that up and so in its place I'm going to add the MAC prep and prime and the radiant rose and it's just one of those that has a little brush tip on it that you click up to get the product so I'm going to add that in as my highlighter that I'll be using under the eyes so that took the place of that um, I had put the two powders of in this palette into the project pan and this is the ambient lighting palette and I had said originally in the project pan that I wanted to use up these two powders here. This one, I just kind of wanted to maybe get the dome down or even hit pan on it, but I don't really like this one. And um, I think this one, is that dim light or radiant light? I don't remember. Anyway, it's a little bit too orange for me. So I am going to take I'm not going to use this anymore because I did finish these two. They're completely gone. So I am I'm good with eliminating this and getting rid of that even though I didn't use that other powder. Another product that I used up is my Tom Ford Illuminating Powder. I had been using that to set underneath my eyes, but toward the end I started using it to set um, the entire face instead because it would always just get a little bit too cakey and dry underneath my eyes so that's how I ended up using it okay let's see did I finish anything else no those were the only three products that I actually finished so um, so what I'm adding in addition to the MAC prep and prime I'm also going to add this deluxe size sample of the Giorgio Armani um, Fluid sheer is kind of like a um, highlighter. Hello. I'm at home. Okay. Bye. So anyway, this is kind of like a um, a primer, I guess, to put all over your face anyway to add a glow so I'm gonna try and use that I've had it for a little while and I don't even know if it's even still any good kind of feels a little watery so we'll give it a try I'm also adding in a lip pencil from Estee Lauder and it's the double wear lip pencil in the color rose I have lost the lid to it so that's why I want to go ahead and use that I don't know if I'm going to be able to because it's pretty dry and um, because I don't have the lid so but there's there it is right there so I'll work with it and see if I can make any progress with that if not then we'll take that out of the project pan and put something else okay um, everything else I'm still working on I haven't made a whole lot of progress not enough to really to sit here and show I mean I can still show you each item that I'm still working on it but it's kind of redundant um, I did hit pan on my bronzer so that is something to report right here and this is the Mac Aphrodite shell extra extra dimension bronzer I did hit pan on it so I did make some progress there um, 
my MAC paint pot in soft ochre. I had to stir it up because it was getting dry and it's still kind of dry to work with so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to work with it because it is getting kind of dry and it kind of tugs and pulls on the eye a little bit. So that may be going out next time but I'm going to keep working with it. Another product that was kind of getting dry that I stirred up was my IT Cosmetics Build a Brow in Universal Taupe. So um, kind of helped a little bit but I have noticed that it's starting to get a little bit hard to work with and I think it's because it's drying out and then something's happened to my lid because now it's really hard to get it on and I'm thinking I may not be getting it screwed down tight enough on that so I also did finish and use up some of my martini mask I had added these into the project pan the last update I've used the antioxidant tomato mask um, the hyaluronic mask, I've used two of those. The vitamin C mask, one of those. The milk collagen, the milk collagen, was there two of those? No, milk collagen was just one. And then the green apple, I had two of those that I did use. And I think I have probably like 12 more of those masks to use and then those will be out of my collection. Okay, so there is one item that I have been using that I added into the pan, project pan, I think the last update, and I've decided that I'm going to take it out. I did say at the beginning of the project pan, if there was some kind of item that I was using and I just didn't like it, I wasn't going to force myself to use it. I would tell myself to use it for a good 30 days. If after that 30 days you are just you can't do it then let's take it out and not keep it in anyway it's this perfume from Chloe and I had started it it was here's my line where I started it and you can see I've used a little bit of it enough to know that this perfume causes me extreme headache um, I just I just can't do it so I even tried using it as a room spray but even coming home and smelling it in the house it would cause me to get a headache so I'm going to take this out I'm going to give it to my friend who likes to collect perfume bottles you've probably heard me talk about her before and if she can wear the perfume fine she can have it if not then she can have the bottle obviously for her perfume collection so um, to take its place because I did want to have a perfume in my project pan I'm going to add the Vera Wang um, Love Struck perfume and there's my line there where I'm at on it so we'll see on the next project pan on where I'm at with that so anyway that is it I am still using all of the other products um, that had been put into the project pan it's just some of them are just really kind of hard to show progress but I just wanted to let you know that I am still using them but definitely wanted to show you what I had definitely made really good progress on by using them up anyway thank you so much for joining me today I hope that you enjoyed uh, make sure you do a thumbs up or thumbs down if you don't like the video that's fine you can give me a thumbs down and um, subscribe if you want to be notified of more um, videos from me. Make sure you click on the little bell icon so that you'll be notified. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me this Saturday afternoon. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.